For the following exercise, determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right, so in order to first determine whether this uh, equation is a function of x or y is a function of x, we first have to solve the equation for y. Now, fortunately, right, that was already done for us. It's already solved for y, okay? So after this, the next step then is going to be uh, to then graph it. All right, so we can graph this function. Now you can throw this thing on into the calculator, all right? But what might happen is you might, depending upon the window you use, it might not be very clear, okay, what the graph should look like. So what we can do first is we can solve for the roots of this thing, okay? Uh, so in other words, right, it's a quadratic, okay? So I can set this on up, I'll do this on the left-hand side. Basically for step one, I'll say that this is, we're finding the roots, okay? So y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 40x. What I'm going to do is set this thing equal to zero, just like we were solving any quadratic. So this becomes negative, uh, oops, don't forget the x there. Uh, this becomes negative then 2x squared plus 40x. I can factor out a common x between these two. All right, so that means now I have zero is equal to x times negative 2x plus 40. And now what I realize is I can set both this and this in the parentheses equal to zero, right? So I'm gonna have x is equal to zero, and then this whole mumbo jumbo negative two x plus 40 is also equal to zero. When we solve this thing now for x, right, we can add this term on over to the right-hand side and then divide everything by two. Well, it would just give us now 20. So this will give us a little better insight as to where the graph should look or where the roots are. Um, so that you can uh, possibly create a better um, screen for yourself on the calculator, all right? And we might not even need the calculator, I mean, if we're solving for the roots. We know that the graph will pass through point 0.0. Let's assume that that's point 0.0. And let's say uh, this is now 20, okay, on out here. So this is a value of x is equal to 20. So we know that the parabola, we know it's a parabola, right, because it has a squared x value. And the next question is, is it a positive or negative parabola? Meaning, will it look something like this, right? Or will it look then something like this? And the answer is it's going to be negative, right? So it's going to be an upside down frown, right? No, oh, so sad, we're very negative. It's the way you could remember. Now, um, that being the case, right? I don't really care where this goes up to. I don't, it doesn't really matter what Y value it is. I know it's a parabola. I know it's gonna have these roots. So that's good enough for me in order to determine whether this thing is a function or not, okay? Because the third step now is to conduct the vertical line test to determine whether this thing that we drew here is indeed a function, all right? So the vertical line test says this at the bottom. It says that if a vertical line intersects the graph only once, then the graph is a function. So what I do is I draw a couple of vertical lines here, all right? I realize that that vertical line only intersects the graph at that one spot. This vertical line only at that one spot. I'll do one more, right? That vertical line at only that one spot. So I know that no matter what vertical line I draw, that vertical line will only intersect the graph at one point. And therefore I can say that it passes the vertical line test, all right? And therefore it is a function. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next question. Take it easy.